a voice had echoed through Liantumi's head for 14 years, more than half her life. Tumi began to hear it within days of her arrival on the University of California campus in the fall of 2004 ready to fulfill her dream of swimming for the Golden Bears world-renowned head coach Terry McKeever. Before long, it seemed like the voice was all she heard, in person at first, McKeever berating her, bullying her, Tumi alleged, at practice, at competitions, in meetings. And then she heard it all the time. An endless 24-7 loop of McKeever's F-bombs, body shaming, the deeply personal mocking, taunting, belittling, screaming, threatening, the soundtrack of the nightmare that kept her up most nights dreading the next morning's practice. Toomey heard it at the pool. She heard it and it's cold indifference, Toomey said, after she was raped. She heard it when she struggled. She heard it even as she earned NCAA All-American honors. And she heard it on the way to practice or class as she wondered if she should just step in front of a bus and end it all. I kept thinking it would be so easy, she said. Even after Toomey left Berkeley, two time zones between her and her former coach, the voice roared on in her head, haunting her, continuing to sow doubt, continuing to make her question herself. She heard it when she struggled to develop relationships. She heard it when she faced major decisions. It sent a panic through her every time she was summoned by a boss or co-worker. Every time someone said, Leanne, I need you to stop by my office, my first thought was, am I about to get fired? On December 5, 2018, Toomey decided she had heard enough. So she swallowed a bottle of pills because I wanted it to stop. She remembers thinking, I'm never coming back and fading from consciousness, and then coming to enough to call a hospital. The voice also survived. That voice that creates all this doubt in you, I named it Terry, Toomey said.